Hi everyone, my name is Elliot Desi, I'm AD's National Training Manager. Today I'm going to show you the AD ProCheck on-site digital water test. This is fully compliant with BS7593. It will test for inhibitor, corrosion, pH and system cleanliness. So we're going to run through a quick demo just to show you how easy it is to use. So in the kit, you get 25 tests, you get a little test pot and you get 10 test cards. And we'll go through a process now on the app to show you how to do the water test. So I'm logged in onto the AD ProCheck app. I'm going to select new water test. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a property or add a property. So I'm going to select on an existing property and we're going to choose the reason for the check. So I'm here today, I'm on a boiler service. So I'm going to select service, press next and ch check the installation type. So it's a system boiler and we can add a job ID and we can even scan the boiler serial number to put on a report as well. Or we can just skip this part. So I'll select skip, and the first question really is, is there a filter fitted? Obviously we know that filters must be fitted on systems now, so is there one, yes or no? If there's not, it allows for a conversation piece with the customer. If there is one, obviously select yes, press next, and take a sample. So we've got our test pot here. I've already taken a sample of this system, uh, but obviously if I was on the job now, uh, I would take this from the central point in the system, just from the bleed on, on a radiator, um, just to get a good idea of, of an average of the system. So avoid taking it from the filter, avoid taking it from sort of dead legs in the system. So a nice central point, let the system run for a little while and take a sample from the bleed. So we've got our sample now, we're going to press continue on the app and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a photograph of this sample against a pale background. So I'm just going to take that photo now and as you can see by that colour, we can choose between clear or yellow, orange or brown or dark brown and black. So if at this stage, if this sample was brown or black, it would fail on turbidity and we would recommend a Magna Cleanse flush. There's no point in doing a test with a strip. Uh, we don't need a test for inhibitor levels. We just need to clean the system and give that advice to the customer. So if we select a brown or black sample, what will happen is the test will fail and it will save onto your AD Sense platform so that you can show that to your customer at a later date and you can send them the report there and then whilst you're on site. On this sample, it's clear. Uh, clear to yellow so we're going to press that and we're going to continue with the full test so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to dip one of our test strips in the system so i'm going to take a strip and as you can see there's quite a few um, sections to this strip so make sure when you take your sample that you fill it up deep enough so that you dip the whole strip into the pot so i'm going to do that now so we're just going to dip that in all the way down for three seconds one two, three, we're going to take it out, put it to one side and we're just going to press continue on the app and what that's doing now, that's going to count down for 60 seconds and that's to allow the water to absorb into the pads for an accurate result. So we're going to let that soak in now. You may be wondering at this stage sort of what inhibitor this test is for. It is a universal test so any inhib inhibitor that contains molybdate will be picked up on this test. We're also measuring for corrosion, which is our dissolved iron, and our pH level as well. So it's a test that completely covers you for BSM 593 and gives you a really good average and example of, of a, a good or bad system water quality. So at this stage, we're going to get one of our test cards out. You might have remembered that I said we get 10 of these and we get 25 strips. Now the reason for that is we can actually use these more than once. So don't throw them away on the first go. They can have several uses. Unless you get staining over the actual colour chart, just keep using it until you need to throw it away and use the next one. Once you've used your kit, you can get the refill pack and that supplies you with another 25 strips and 10 test cards. So going back to our strip now, we're going to line the strip onto our pad and it tells you which way up to put it as well, so it's nice and easy to follow. And we've just finished now our 60 seconds, so I'm going to press continue. And as you can see, there's a camera that's looking for this card. I'm just going to hover it above and it's going to take three images for us automatically. Another tip, guys, is to make sure that you've got good lighting for this test as well. Don't try and do this test in a loft, you know, on your knee. Make sure you've got a good surface, good lighting, and you'll find it'll be, be all good. So we've got an inhibitor pass, corrosion pass, pH as a pass. So this, in this case, there's no further action required. We could press continue. For example, if they have no filter, we could add on here, um, you know, quotes raised for filter. Okay, and that would save onto the certificate. Complete the task, and that will now save onto 80 cents. 
So all of your previous tests, all the tests you've ever done, will be on your AD Sense platform for future reference. And the test is now completed. We can email that straight to our customer as well. So I can add the customer's email address and they will receive a PDF certificate of our test. So it's absolutely brilliant for their peace of mind as well. If you imagine they've got a boiler under warranty um, and it gives them that peace of mind that this is being done annually and the warranty is going to remain valid. And that's it. Thank you very much.